Uh, let's talk about how to prepare for natural disaster. Doesn't matter where you live, you are prone to face some sort of natural disasters. So, I prompt me to make this video about natural disasters, how to prepare for them and what to consider when it comes to preparation. So, let's talk about the very first thing, creating an emergency plan. So make sure you have your evacuation route, uh, make sure you have a form of communication, and also designated spot to meet for your emergency plan. So we all know that when emergencies strike, if you don't have a plan, you plan to fail. What should you consider in your emergency plan? And if you check out my live, and it will be in the description below, I go over the three phase of prepper, planning and the first phase I talk about where it's more planning the second phase is taking action the third phase is evaluation and, and, and solve situation that you fail doing that plan so go ahead and watch that live and you probably learn more in depth and detail now let's talk about the second part when it comes to preparation for natural disaster having a proper emergency kit okay what should that include that should include at least a gallon per person per day at least for three to seven days and make sure you have non-perishable food and enough for also the same duration of time three to seven days flashlight batteries first aid kit medication and necessary uh, medical item for your loved ones who have specific illness is ready make sense all right, so let's talk about number three. So making sure that you secure your home. Just overall, for, fortifying your home makes a huge difference, huge difference. Because as you can see, um, during hurricanes or tornado, your home, or maybe even a mudslide or flooding, your home integrity, how it is built, make a difference between you recovering and having that structure there after the fact, versus it being torn away by that tornado, hurricane, or mudslide, or flood. Make a huge difference, so, all right? So, let's talk about number four, that you stay informed. So, monitoring the news, radio station, and weather updates make a huge difference. Uh, downloading emergency alerts from FEMA, Red Cross, and local weather apps helps makes a huge difference because being informed of how to deal with these things will make a difference and what's happening in your uh, surrounding area will make a difference, especially in your plans. All right, so let's talk about number five because if you don't prepare when it comes to having those necessary power when the power goes out, you will find out quickly, especially during a hurricane or you or a tornado, whichever condition, because every place has had its natural disaster that can happen at any time. So understanding what comes with it makes a difference because we can better prepare because power going now is, you know, just having the grid down is a huge strain on um, people who was not prepared. Even those who prepare because it's a continuous work being aware of, okay, how to manage your power because you want to make sure you are frugal with your resources when it grid is down, um, making sure you have your solar pan uh, panels out to charge your uh, electrical generator or just having fuels to use your, your generator at the specific time that is most important to you because you cannot waste power or fuel that you do have. Even just wood itself is important because you got to make sure you are monitoring your fuel and the power that you do have doing a grid down situation so having the preparation of your power goes a long way so i hope you learned something from this video and i hope that information that i did provide helped you some way somehow because natural disasters are inevitable it's how you prepare for them that makes a difference thank you for watching